Hello everyone, I know that everyone loves videos about color grading. Today we are talking about color grading for portrait photography. So I'm here in Photoshop and we are going to choose how to uh, color grade our image. So they, there are a million ways to uh, color grade your images with different software. Here I am in Photoshop and we are going to work uh, with curves and a gradient map on this case. So here what can we do when you have an image try to think about uh, what kind of colors could work together. So here we have uh, some kind of orange uh, in the background. So um, all of uh, those parts, we also have uh, the skin that is kind of uh, orange tones. Uh, then we have kind of a red here, which is a nice uh, accent. And then we have the uh, clothes that are apparently kind of a magenta uh, violet, but we can turn them uh, eventually into uh, blue. So all of this part could be interesting as uh, kind of blue tones. Uh, why I am saying that? Because orange, blue and red could create a perfect split complementary color scheme. So if you don't know what is a split complementary color scheme, I'm going to quickly uh, show you here. So you can go on Adobe Color and here you have Color Harmony and you can choose different uh, color harmonies. So you can see analogous that is kind of famous, monochromatic as well, complementary. And here we are talking about split complementary. So you have two uh, colors that are adjacent to each other and one opposite color. So here we have our orange or uh, kind of red and one opposite color that is a blue cyan. Just like our image, we only have to work a bit on the colors and th that is going to create um, this harmony. So I am going to create uh, my curve. What we're gonna want to do is to separate the model with uh, the background. So I'm clicking on my image here and then I'm going to click on select subject and now it's creating a very good selection. So I'm going to delete this layer and then with my selection on, I'm going to click on mask here and it is going to create automatically uh, my selection. So we are going to start by uh, creating some blue tones in the shadows. So in the curves adjustment, you have this panel here uh, called RGB. But then you can see the different channel that is red, green and blue. Here we want to work on the blue channel. So I click on blue and I'm gonna want to rise the, dark, uh, the darker tones. So I'm taking this a point here so if you don't know here are the shadows and here are the highlights so I'm taking this point and I'm going to go up a little bit so not too much obviously otherwise it's going to look weird like that it can be a good idea if you are doing a design but here we are going to stay into uh, natural photography so I'm rising it up a little bit uh, like that and uh, let's see before and after. I like the result. What we might want is to remove uh, the skin part. So I'm gonna brush brush the skin part out of the mask. So I'm taking a brush, so B on your keyboard or uh, click on the icon here. And I'm going to have an opacity of 20%. And then I want to remove the skin from the mask. So I'm choosing a black color. And then I am brushing out the skin. I'm going to brush um, the fingers and the arms as well. Okay, if, it's, if you think it's not enough, you can brush once again. Okay. I'm not doing a perfect selection, but if you want, feel free to do it of course i would even say that it's better perfect so this is before and after before and after now we are going to work uh, on the background so i'm going to create a selection select subject 
And then I want to invert my selection. So I'm gonna do Command Shift I and now I only have the background. So I'm going to create another curve. And this time we want to have a more orange and more vibrant background. So I'm going to uh, the red channel. I'm picking the hand here and I'm going to pick this orange and to rise it up. So I'm going up. And we're gonna do something very subtle. Then uh, I want to add a bit of yellow, so I go to blue. And because yellow is the opposite color of blue, I'm going to go down just a little bit. So instead of creating red, it's creating some of orange because red and yellow is creating orange. Okay, so before and after before and after good if you think it's too much you can always uh, take the opacity down so i'm going to do it here maybe 60 percent is nice okay and now if you want to add uh, some more red in uh, this area you just have to do uh, just like we did from the beginning you create a new curve then uh, you go to red you pick the hand and you select the area you want to affect and then we're gonna rise it up okay and then i'm going to invert uh, the mask and with a white uh, brush 100 percent opacity i'm going to zoom in a little bit and with a white brush we are going to brush this area here that we want to affect Okay, before and after. We can eventually remove the buttons if you don't want it to be affected. Before and after. If it's too much, of course, you can reduce the opacity. And here we have a nice color harmony, as you can see. That's very subtle, but it helps the image to stand out more, in my opinion. So now what we're gonna do is to go back to adjustment and add a gradient map. It's going to add a nice filter on the wall image and to help with uh, split toning as well. So click on gradient map. And now double click on uh, this gradient here and you will be able to choose your own colors. So what we want here is to have blues in the shadows. So we're gonna choose a kind of blue. I want something, yeah, kind of silent and uh, kind of dark as well. I don't want something too saturated. Okay, something like that. And then we're gonna choose something brighter and more of kind of orange for the highlights. Yeah, something like that, click OK. And then we are only going to reduce the opacity. So choose something between five and 20%. So it's versatile, but it helps to give uh, an harmony to the wall image. It will al also depends of your image. Sometimes people like uh, the effects, sometimes you don't. So really try on your own image and see if that suits you. So let's see everything that we did before and after. That's very subtle because this is uh, this is the style I was uh, going for. But of course, if you want everything 100%, you can have something stronger. And that really depends on your test. But this is one technique uh, you can use to color grade your portrait photography. And don't forget to learn a bit about color scheme so you are able to choose something that makes sense for your image. Don't forget to like the video and to comment, it helps my channel a lot. And subscribe if you don't want to miss any next videos. See you in the next one.